Elijah, pencil on the glue, and the slam. So, how can we figure out how much carpet Tina needs? What can we do to figure this out? Waiting for more. Taisha, what can we do to figure this out? Ah, she says that we can use multiplication. Who can build on? Multiplication to do what? Tristan, off task. Multiplication to do what, O'Shea? Um, um, we could do four times five. Ah, what is four times five? What's that called? All of us are kind of dancing around the answer. Four and five. What is that called, Jadea? The length and width. The length and width. So we can multiply length and width. What can we do? Multiply length and width. And that's what we use to find area. Brianna, sit up. <coughs> Hand and slant. Nigel. So, who can tell me what is the equation that we can use along with the answer to find the area of the bedroom? What is the equation that we can use along with the answer to find the area of the bedroom? Niaja, track Niaja. The equation we can use is 4 times 5. 4 no. times 5, and what is 4 times 5? That is 20. 20. So, what is the area with the equation of the living room then? What is the equation of the area with the living room? Marcus, what is the equation? Four times seven. Ah, four times seven. And what does that equal, Marcus? 28. 28? Are we done? Did I find the answer? Why not? What do we have to do still? What do we need to do in order to solve the problem? Brianna, hold on one second. Deja six. Yes, uh, Brianna, what do we need to do? Ah, we need to add 28 and 20. So 20 plus 28. Who knows the answer? Vertical hand. Tristan. 48. It is 48. Now, what am I missing in my equation? There's something important that I did not do in my equation that I must do for every number. Judea. You didn't label. What should I label them as? You should label the, the 20 as the... The... So let's go back to the problem. What is my unit of measurement? Look into the problem and tell me what should I label the 20, the 28, and the 48. Talk to your partner. What should I label? Should I label? Because... Yes. Heard some great answers. Sephora, what should we label the numbers that equal our area? What should they be? It, it should be square feet. Why? Because it says how many square feet of the carpet will she use? Yes, that's exactly right. So I need to label all of it square feet. Now, who thinks that they can come up to the board and write a total equation for this whole problem? Putting it together using our previously learned skill of parentheses. Who can do it? Elijah. Right here. What would our, what would our total equation be?
So, so let's take a look at Elijah's equation. Back up, Elijah. Is Elijah correct? Say, good job, Elijah. Good job, Elijah. So we just practiced, hands in slant, tracking me. Thank you, Elijah. We just practiced taking two areas and combining them to make one total area. And that's what our lesson is about today. So let's take a look at what we need to do. We're going to try one more time before we go into workshop. First, we are not counting the boxes. What are we not doing? Counting the boxes. That is the least efficient strategy. We need to start to use the formula to find the area of our rectangles. We find our area by multiplying the length and the width. What do we multiply? The length and the width. That's right. So next, we combine the two areas with an equation. We have the area of one, the area of the second, and we combine them just like the distributive part property model. And then last, who can read this last thing that we must do in workshop that we'll get to in a moment? Jaden. Yes, create a new model representing the total area. But we don't have to do that yet. Let's see if we really understand writing the equation and combining with this next problem. You have three minutes to work with your partner. Go. Okay. is nice and neat. I saw a bit of unorganized equations and we need to make sure that they are nice and neat. I'm going to have one student who had a very nice and neat paper come up and share their work because we all did this excellently. Desari, come up. Marcus. So, Desari, explain to us how you solve this problem. A little 
because that's exactly right. Two separate equations for A and B. And then? Nice. So let me stop you. Who can give her feedback on her work? What is something that she didn't do that we made sure that we did in the last part? Waiting for more. Look at her work. What can she do to improve it? Rohana. What should she label her numbers as? What should she label her numbers as? Rohana said she didn't label, but what should she label it? Taisha? Ah, is it inches? Is that exactly right? Naija says no. Daniel says no. What should it be, Brianna? Not area. One more try. Yes? Not square feet. What is the unit of measurement? Square what? What does IM stand for? Yes, so what is it, Rohana? Square Square inches. So everybody, if you didn't label your answer as square inches, do that now. S-Q-I-N.